Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, I'll show you how to install GT Coding custom theme to your website. This is a WordPress theme that we had created from scratch. I'll leave the link of the complete course in the description below. Alright, so I'll be installing this theme on a local WordPress website that I had created using XAMPP. You can use the same method to install this theme on a live website as well. If you want to know how to create a local WordPress website, I have videos on that. So I have a video on how to install WordPress using XAMPP and also a video on local by Flywheel. I will leave the link of those in the description below. Alright, once you are in the dashboard of your WordPress website, you have to go to appearance and then click on theme. Now once you purchase this, you will get a zip file. So you have to go to your appearance themes and then click on add new and then click on upload theme. And here you have to choose the zip file. So just click on choose file and go to the folder where you have downloaded the zip file and select it and click on open and then click on install now. So here we can see the theme has been installed successfully. Now just click on activate. And we can see the GT coding custom theme has been activated. Now you have to create a couple of pages. So just go to pages and click on add new. And you have to create four pages. One is the about page. So just type about. And uh, we'll just go to lipsum.com and we'll just generate some text. And uh, just copy and paste it over here. And then click on publish and then publish again. Alright, our first page has been created. Now we need to create three more pages. The second page is contact and uh, just leave the body blank and then click on publish next we need a page called blog and uh, we'll leave this blank as well and then click on publish and lastly we need a page called home and then click on publish now the next thing you need to do is go to settings and click on reading and then select your home page displays and change it to a static page and for the home page select home and for the post page select blog and then click on save changes now it's time for us to create a couple of posts and projects so just go to post and click on add new and just add a title over here and add some text and then go to document and then select featured image and uh, select files and select an image and click on open and then click on set featured image and then click on publish now let's create two more posts we already have a post called hello world so we'll just edit it and uh, paste something over here go to document featured image and we'll go to upload files and select files select one image and uh, set featured image click on update we'll create one more post Alright, now let's create some projects. So go to projects and click on add new. And uh, the first project. And set featured image. And then click on publish. We'll create one more project. And publish. 
Now the next thing you need to do is install a plugin called contact form for the contact page. So go to plugins and click on add new and uh, then search for contact form 7 and install now and activate. Now go to contact and uh, click on add new. This is your form. You can make changes to this and once you are done that just click on save. Now you can just copy this uh, short code to your contact page. So just select this and uh, copy and go to pages and then click on edit on contact page and then paste the short code over here and then click on update now in your contact form 7 plugin you have to make some changes to the settings so go to contact and uh, go to the form and here you have to go to mail and uh, you have to change these details according to your needs and then you can even go over here and uh, edit the messages if the message was sent successfully then uh, this is the message that will be sent and there are different messages over here and there are additional settings over here as well like you can add custom CSS over here and the email won't necessarily be sent on your local host so you have to try it on a live website and if it doesn't work on a live website as well then you can install a plugin called EasyWP SMTP and you can fill in those details and uh, then you can make it work I have a video on that as well I will leave in the description below alright so this is basically how you install the GT coding custom WordPress theme now let's view our website and see how it looks so here we can see the hero section the menu and everything is working alright here we can see all blogs the first post the third post and all the projects are displayed over here and everything is working alright let's go to contact and we can see that the contact form is also working alright let's select blog and these are all the blogs select projects these are all the projects we can go into a project and this is how the project looks we can go into blog you can go into a category and the about page and you can even make changes to your sidebar over here by going to widgets in your dashboard let me show it to you you can go to appearance and go to widgets and here's the sidebar here we have the search the first one is the search and then we have recent posts recent comments and all those things so you can make changes over here and uh, update your sidebar lastly let's also see whether the search works we we'll just type first post and we can see that the search also works so this is how you install the GT coding WordPress custom theme a lot of you asked me to create a video on how to install this theme so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day